Hi everyone. Well, here we are today in Fred's video iPhone walkthrough series and uh, a lot of people say, well, how much cable goes into a television production truck? Well, you see this patch bay right here. That's just one little segment that needs to put in. This truck right here that I'm going to walk through is going to require just about uh, 4,000 foot of cable. There's some cable there waiting to be. All these boxes, all this is television production equipment, audio equipment, all these types of things and so on. And all these boxes are now categorized and all getting ready to be installed and so on. And what you see here is the back of a truck and you see the actual cable and some of the equipment now being installed. Oh my gosh, it is a lot of work and it takes a very good mind. I say it takes a very good mind to do this type of cable lacing and this type of work that you see here. It takes a really, really good, strong mind to do this type of work. Now these gentlemen that are in here, these are not the minds I'm talking about. But anyway, the point is, it is, as you can see, the equipment is going in and so on, and these guys are just doing a bang up job here, getting this truck ready to make pictures. The work that goes into this is extensive, it's exhaustive, it takes a lot of man hours, and as you can see, that's a knitting you're doing. Oh no, that's real cable work. No. <laughs> Exhaustive work. And as you can see, the uh, clamshell doors that we built in this truck right here are basically being, uh, uh, they're being used to their full capacity. This gentleman's sitting out here wiring from the outside of the truck. And uh, it's quite a job. So I just thought I would share this with everybody today to give you some concept of what it takes to tech out a remote television production truck. Uh, here at Curling Associates, we're proud to use the wire guys as our source for uh, putting in the cables and dressing them down. Uh, this is Jeremy from Wire Guys. Hey everybody, how you doing? And uh, Jeremy, tell them a little bit about what you do and how you do well, it. I'm pre-prepping my cable and dressing it in, as you can see, so it looks all nice. It comes from looking really ugly down at the bottom, so very, very nice. It's all about dressing, dressing, dressing. Jeremy, this is a typical of the work that you do. Yes, very, very yeah, typical. Yeah, really. Well, Jeremy, we thank you a lot for joining us here at Grilling Associates on the LaCia Project. It's just excellent work. Thank, thank you very much. Thanks for thank having you. us out here. All right. So as we go on down through the truck, you can see that uh, they're really starting to, to we call it, wake up the truck. So in other words, a lot of the equipment is starting to be fired up. Uh, we are approximately one week out from the day that we actually do it. This is uh, Tim Daly. Tim is the uh, engineer here for Girling Associates on the project. And Tim is basically going through now and checking out some different installation uh, programs and processes and so on. And as you go down through here, uh, I know I've shown this uh, truck before. And you can see now a lot of stuff is really racked in place uh, and really ready to fire up. So as Tim and the guys from Wire Guys uh, basically start to wake up the truck, uh, basically, this truck is actually going to come to life. Systems integration is something that we do here at Girling Associates for approximately 15% of our clientele. And it's very important because it is what makes the truck work. So here you see all the equipment is actually now plugged into the truck. It is a matter now of waking it up, making it work, and making a real television production truck out of the rack ready truck that we built for LaCia. So I hope you all like this little uh, uh, introduction to uh, systems integration. And uh, once again, here at Curling Associates, we really enjoy this work. And as you can see, the uh, you can see the uh, I/O panel here is all done and wired up and ready to go. And you can see some of that great wire dressing that the wire guys did, and so on. And it just gives you a real good idea as to exactly how these come out after all this work and all this effort is completed. So as we go upstairs here, let's go up in the in the production room and actually take a look at all the equipment working. This has really changed from the first few videos that are on this series of videos. And as you can see as we go through here, uh, basically you can see the uh, slow motion area and camera shading is all done. Everything's working, camera shading area. And then of course the slow motion area here and of course the big room, the big monitor wall. You can see the big monitor wall is all working and uh, all the stations, intercom and so on for uh, director, for the TD, the director, and of course as we get back to graphics, and of course the switcher's up and going. Sidecars just don't have them turned on for this video. But as you can see then the uh, P2 bench where graphics is done and so on. Future expansion here, and of course this area here totally wired up and working. And then as we go on back <clears throat> into the audio area, 
You can see the audio uh, is all up and going. The multi viewer for the audio guy, and of course, patch base here, all wired. And notice all labeled professionally, and so on, quite done quite well. And so on, as you can see, the audio console, and of course, that all important over audio over bridge area over the audio console. So everything is here and working, and now this truck has to go out and earn its keep and make money. So I thought you'd all enjoy uh, basically uh, this uh, segment and so on, and the videos that are tied to this particular video, starting from basically a rack-ready truck to a totally completed truck.